Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to become an informed voter. As you're aware, this election is a turning point in the history of Mississauga. A televised debate is to be held tomorrow. In response to my call, the mayor has released her platform. Thank you, madam. While we're still a long way to go, we have taken the first step to a democracy. I would like to thank the candidates for putting forward their platforms. I would like to urge you to review and judge them on their merit. I'm pretty confident that you will find, once you have reviewed it, that mine is the most comprehensive one. I urge you to visit my website, www.ramformair.ca, and it's downloadable. My six-point plan starts with an honest, accountable, and transparent council. This starts with the separation of political and city staff. Ensuring that the council minutes are posted online and agendas available for citizens to review. One of the most common things I've heard from residents and residents associations is the fact that they're made to react to city decisions and not being consulted beforehand. We, we have been a growing suburb of Mississauga. We need to take a breather, engage communities, hold discussions, and plan. Recently, I was at the Mississauga Summit where the development of the Lakeshore and the Credit Valley were discussed. Let's get something very clear. The river belongs to the people of Mississauga. I and my kids enjoy a nice bike ride or hike along that. Right now, with our space being limited, developers have the eye on the uh, Credit River Valley because that's where the money is. I want you to look at that. That's something that we need to protect. Recently, you've all witnessed the renovation of our city pools and repairs on our roads. This is thanks to the one-time federal infrastructure spending, not due to the city's maintenance life cycle planning. This year, we all got a 2% property tax increase. Next year, we're faced with a 10%. And I believe, Madam Mayor, we're looking at a deficit situation in 2012. We need to have that discussion now. It's all great to say we live in the greatest city in, our, in the world when we have a 22% child poverty rate. We have a 20 year wait for affordable housing. We need to reevaluate, re do we really live in the great city of that it should be? We need a new Mississauga. Please visit my website for uh, to download my platforms and have a look, and I will be available to discuss some of these issues with you. Thank you.